And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Pantheon action. I'm gonna go and play another Pantheon deck. Our Pantheon Taric deck from the other day was awesome. Wanted to try out Pantheon in a different region. I think it pairs so well with action, of course, because you want to play a lot of things that target your own allies with action. So you can count down both of your Warlords cards, the Palace and the Horde. And of course, Pantheon has faded and really uh, rewards you for targeting your allies also. And of course, to level up, you have to target your allies in five different rounds. So they just kind of fit well together. Uh, not only that, but then a lot of these new Targon cards that are coming in with this new expansion, you can see we're playing a lot of them here. They work really well with either being targeted or doing some targeting. We're going to have uh, Blinded Mystic, be able to silence, and also grant uh, plus one plus one to some different stuff. We're going to be trying this card for the first time. We stand together. We get to buff two different allies with a plus one, plus two this round. So we can get two different faded abilities. Also get two for leveling up in action. Excited about that card. Going to be trying that out. Um, we got At the top end, we got a couple of five drops. We got Siphoning Strike and Bruiser. Bruiser making some lucky finds for us for some targeting. And that's kind of about it, right? Like our Mountain Goats will make some gems. We'll have a couple of, like, you know, two Saga Seekers. Definitely more excited about Saga Seeker with having the We Stand together. And that's that's about it. So let's try it out. Let's see how they do together. Pantheon action. We're going to be taking on over to Ranked and playing our five games over there. Okay, we're facing Gangplank Sejuani. Yeah, I mean, pretty decent hand. I kind of see keeping all of it. Like, the Ruthless Predator doesn't protect the action. But it's a good card. That's a great draw. There we go. That protects action. Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. I do not break rules. I bend them slightly. So we were talking about bef between the games, and I believe... If memory... I could be wrong. But if memory serves me, there's like one deck that I don't quite remember as well. But if memory serves me, I think we have only played against Gangplank, Kennen, and Yordle Explorer so far today. Okay. Let's go ahead and grow the action. Silence that thing so it's not an elusive, right? The elusives being able to do the free damage is pretty nice. Alright, so I think that was the card that uh, Sprayfin just grabbed. Loses from doing damage. Cool, I bet. You like it? Fixing the world one scoundrel at a time. I'm saving Shapestone. But yeah, I suppose I could have done that. Riley Knight with the host, with the raid. Welcome, everybody, from Riley Knight's uh, stream. Hey, everybody. All right, so basically what we're doing here, we're playing, of course, some of the new champions playing some new decks. Uh, we have um, two decks that we have already played, being Action with uh, Ari, and then Tristana with Rumble. The Tristani with Rumble didn't work as well for us, but let's see. So, okay, you're at four, uh, but the action decks have been working pretty good. You came in at the right time. This is just our very first game with Pantheon action, which is the, the deck we're currently playing. 
I should fix that. Okay, so math. So if we shape stone this, it gets plus three plus two, so that turns into a three five. So I could do that, I can grappling hook. Which is not really a good way to So like three five. I, mean, I guess we could maybe save action if we want to use everything. Two five. Okay, actually we don't have to use that much stuff. Okay. Alright, figure it out. We're gonna we're we'll just gonna go with this. We can just do that in one shape stone. Stand and fight. Okay, trying some rune Terra. Very nice. So they can play the warning shot to make it five. Oh, they didn't do it. Sejuani would have leveled up. And then we would have had to use the other shape stone. Man, if they just have two ways to do damage to my Nexus. Okay. We're gonna buff you. See if we kill Sejuani or if they have a way to frostbite my whole team, right? Because they can. We already know they have the one warning shot. If they have another warning shot, they frostbite my whole team. Everyone should have a crap okay, that's good. Well fought. Their decks with blood. Not great. Okay, there we go. How about that? Pantheon action. Starting off with a win, why not? No new deck, new results. Poppy team though. So, you know, this is going to be just like a deck we played just a little bit ago. Yordle Explorer, Sharp Sights. Lots of good stuff. I like the Vicarin Bruiser, but. We probably need to look for our champions and everything. Um, I think we're going to keep We Stand together instead of keeping Shape Stone, and that could easily be a mistake, but... Hmm. Alright, champ. Another day in the field. Armed and ready. And Good hand. Best one drop into best two drop. Into best three drop. Okay, so it's just gonna be one of those days. Alright, so just using the gem. Because otherwise we're wasting the mana. I'm uh, gonna just hold up the Wii stand together next round to go along with the Pantheon. Instead of playing Mountain Goat. Talk about a hand here. Talk about a hand. Best one, into best two, into best three, into best four, but since you had Vandal City Mayor as the three, then you have one extra mana, so you can use the one mana removal spell also. Talk about a hand. Absolutely doing this out of desperation. Good game, Fana. Good game. Alright, so another Mono Bandle City deck.
White Flame and Pantheon. Okay, I said Yordle Explorer shouldn't buff other Yordle Explorers. That is absolutely true. But it also just shouldn't exist. There shouldn't be two mana when you play anything from my region. It gets plus one, plus one. It's just too strong of a card. I don't need rules to know good from bad. Because every single champion in Bandle City is a, a Yordle, and you know what, 80-85% of cards are Yordles. I don't know the exact number, but it's basically everything. Yeah, we'll do it. The thing I like here also is we not only get a target, but we also get a strike the palace, that's good. It does mean we're weak to the different Vandal City one damage spells, Pokey Sick, and Okay, and Group Shop. I should make a speech. Where's my speech? Pops in your head. I put it in your head this morning. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, I mean that's like imagine any other region had that. Like two mana all you know buff up every card from your region. It's fairly absurd. Guess we're going the dragon. I see the heavens of flame, gods burning in starfire. So the thing is like they just keep on getting playing more and more units that um a quest? Leave it to me. They can just block the dragon. Sorry, action. I just can't take too much damage. I'm sorry, action. Oh no, bug. Sometimes this card gets bugged. Okay, I have no idea what that other card is. Oh, it's Ruthless Predator. Okay. Um, and Ruthless Predator actually sounds really good right now. So can I choose that? Pantheon's at four to five. Hello, anyone want to join my party? Good card draw. Also not too bad. I could stun a poppy if they have another poppy. Ah, fizz. fizz. Considering stunning the Bandle Commando, but I don't think we do. Let's just play the Saga Seeker. I think Bruiser just takes up too much mana. I 
Should be level up. Hoping for lifesteal. Elusive. Elusive and lifesteal. I guess elusive doesn't matter as much. Scout, I love scout. And tough. Tough's cool also. Alright. We'll take it. So right now that's five elusive damage. Alright, I'm just gonna play this We Stand together right now. So I can do this Warlord Tour thing. Wait, what? How does that only count as one? Wait, what? When you target allies. Okay, so it, it's one card targeting allies, plural. I would have thought that would have been two. That's the first time I've ever played that card with that out. I was going to do the draw two and have cards cost one less and you know, at least be able to play like one of these things also. Stand up, together, stranger. Huh. Did y'all expect that to be two cards? Or was that just me? Okay, yeah, you think it should have been two also? That's what I thought. Alright, definitely going with the spell shield now. With having scout. And then overwhelm, that's going to be lethal. So now they can't just mini morph. Right, like if their plan was mini morph. They can't do that now with getting the spell shield. Alright, and GG's. Okay, no two and one. More. Kenan Ari with Shadow Wilds. We played against this earlier, and I don't think I saw a Shadow Wilds card. No, I don't think I did. But I could see... Man, the card's good, though. I just don't really want to keep two three drops. And I kind of like the, you know, obviously I like the Vagabond with the action. Alright, we'll send the dragon back. Anyway, I could I could see, like, uh, like Doom Beast. I think that's what I kind of came up with, of, like, something they could play. And I guess playing the dragon, um, you know, I'm, I'm mulligan the, dr the dragon, but keeping it, I guess they, you know, Ionia, they're going to have a lot of recall. I guess they could just recall the dragon. Just can't block with twin disciplines being a card. Everything having quick attack means you just can't block anything ever again. <laughs> they can't block my action, I can't block their cards. I see the heavens of flame, gods burning in starfire. Eyes open, watch the branches. I mean, should we just concede now? The dragon binds us. I think we have my least favorite card of all time. Let's 
it concedes the healthy choice. Talk is worthless. We are what we do. Not a chance. Do it. Quicksand sounds cool. I don't really envision it mattering. I should have killed Ari the first time. Because, yeah, like, these Doom Beasts are definitely a tr problem. Yeah, I should have killed Ari the first time. Okay, so we're probably just going to die to Doom Beasts. I suppose. Pantheon is one round away from leveling up and then getting the barrier and looking much better. You hate Ionia? I mean, Ionia wasn't bad until this expansion. It's just... I, I just don't understand why a one-mana card can create so many... Um, all right, it's supposed to go the other way, whatever. Sorry. Uh, well, I can create so many zero mana cards also. I just don't, I don't understand. All right. We will stand. Two and two. I never, I never mind facing poppies at elusives. But... I don't know, like it's you know, like they just attack and yeah, if they have like their champions are pretty good, but they attack and the game's over quickly. I I would much rather play against Poppy Z Elusives. That's not a deck I've really ever complained about. That's much more enjoyable gameplay for me. Everybody's different though. And if you think differently, that's okay. If you really don't like Poppy Z Elusives and you're a fan of Kennen, that's perfectly fine. Nothing wrong with that. So kept everything in my hand, all pretty good cards. Not exactly sure how it's going to work out and everything. I, you know, I don't like that we just drew two more units whenever we were already kind of unit heavy. I already kept the two, three, four. This is justice. We have been drawing our shape stone a lot in like a lot of these games. We've had shape stone. For this one spell mana that we've been saving round one. Um, so we've been pretty fortunate in that respect in these games. That's another card I would enjoy having. Hug it out. So keep them from creating a gem for their pantheon. Not gonna work. Of course, the uh, the goat starts at three power, and 
whenever we um, whenever we quick sand, it goes minus four, so it, it's technically negative one. It shows zero, but that's technically negative one. And so whenever they yeah, Pantheon's a good card. So then whenever they uh, you know gave it plus two, it still had the minus four, so it didn't have enough. I can block that. Hmm. Alright, that's cool. Cool, I bet. You like it? Fixing the world one scoundrel at a time. Might as well get the horde counted down now. Alright, so there can be that shape stone. Yeah, let's go let's go for that. Hmm. You're only at two out of five. It's kind of like keeping Siphoning Strike available, where if they spend a whole lot of mana, we get to Siphoning Strike. That's a pretty decent amount of mana. I think this should work. Can't think of too many things that stops this from happening. Well, you've been playing some Noxus Yetis and killing a whole bunch of Kennens and Ezreals with Reckoning. That's that's a good idea. Reckoning is definitely really good there. You gotta just, you know, make sure you don't get... Let's go this route. Yeah, make sure it doesn't get denied, but as long as it doesn't get denied, it's definitely a very good plan. You got me. Life total is just a little low. Just a little low. Four to five. I get the gods, God is the good. I will die when I am ready. So the reason not to play action here. Because if we play action, yeah, we get the Warlord's Horde, but then we don't get a new Warlord's Horde, right? And I want a new Warlord's Horde. I'm not really targeting anything. It's not right now. Alright, good, good Pantheon on defense. Good defensive pantheon. So that gets rid of the spell shield. That girl is expensive. Can I hold it? No. Not good time. Kinda glad they didn't use the gem. So the Bruiser gives me a card to target, which will level up Pantheon. I don't actually have one. And then afterwards, then we could Grappling Hook. So I'd like to target the Pantheon, but the action has the... Um, the Spell Shield. But obviously because of Faded, I want to target Pantheon. I think we're probably still fine. Like, this thing's still huge. Okay, we get Spell Shield. Right back. And now, levels up. Yeah, 
Pantheon pretty big. Oh sure, take your time. I love to be kept waiting. There's was that three out of five. Ooh. Okay. That was unexpected. That was a good play for them. Good play for them. I will make the gods remember this day. Yeah. I think if I just pass and if I don't play that grappling hook, I don't think I have any way to lose this, but now we lose since we did that. Then their Pantheon went to four that round, right? Like, if I just passed, like, they'd already pass also. So, like, they could only go to four this round instead of five. Now they get to five. They have Overwhelm, Lifesteal, all that kind of stuff. And Scout. So, that's right now it's 14 power attacking. Upon our return. And the Faded resets whenever it levels up. So that actually gave plus two, so now it's 18 Overwhelm. Oh, Fearsome. Right, I should have played this Vagabond. Oh wait, okay, I can block with you. Okay. That gets rid of the barrier. It's gonna be twenty two. We're not taking it, we're taking it back. Okay, so lost this game with that grappling hook. I definitely don't think we could lose if I don't do that grappling hook. But we didn't. What? I don't know why they conceded. Okay, so yeah, so I missed the elusive. That's my bad. I, you know, I saw like the fury, uh, fearsome, you know, that kind of stuff. So that, that's why I was like, why does it just, you know, like they could just block and trade, and then they have the life seals so their nexus goes back up, and yeah. So my, I guess my pantheon was elusive, and I missed that. All right, so another three and two for another action deck. Um, uh, kind of similar to the other one. Not too bad. Nothing I dislike about the deck. Um, if you do want to have some tech against Kennen, people are talking about playing some Spirit Fires for that matchup to try to kill some Kennens around end. I don't love it. It's a lot of mana, uh, but that, you know, could be something. I did feel like we had a, maybe a little bit too many units in here. I could use, like, another spell or two, especially spell, like, drawing. So, uh, so I want something that targets and more card draw. So that could be Guiding Touch. So I could see playing a Guiding Touch or two. Probably over a 3-drop. I like the Blinded Mystics a lot. I wouldn't want to take them out. But maybe over a Vagabond. You know, like with having White Flames and Vagabond. It, it didn't seem like we really need the Vagabonds as much. I, I could definitely see taking out one of those. And um, yeah, maybe going with the Guiding Touch. Or there could be something better than that. There's also like the 2-mana, you know, get plus 0, plus 2. There's Ancient Hourglass is awesome. Um... Ancient Hourglass is very good against uh, Sonic Wave and challenging with like Kennen decks and stuff like that. So that's another option as well. Um, I wouldn't play Ruinous Path because we I, I want things to target my allies, of course. So Ruinous Path doesn't do that. So I would not recommend that card. Um, but, you know, Sunblessed Vigor is an option. So like Ancient Hourglass, Sunblessed Vigor, Guiding Touch. 
those are all options. You can go a little bit heavier. You can go Battle Bonds or Bastion, Astral Protection. Nothing's wrong with any of those four mana cards, and we don't really have any four mana protection. So if you want something that, that like really protects, you know, going with like an Astral Protection or a Bastion could be decent as well. All right, but that's going to be it, though, for... Well, I wonder if Hush is any good. No, nah, probably not. That's going to be it, though, for Pantheon Action. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And as always, leave those comments. What kind of decks you y'all want to see up next for uh, next time I play? Let me know, and I'll get to what other what other cool combinations do you have? Uh, any other Rumble decks? You know, I, I do want to continue to try different Rumble stuff. Yeah, let me know in the comment section. Um, but as always, thank you so much for watching. I can't ever say that enough, and I'll see you for the next video.